Hello, I'm Daniel from Teach Kids Robotics, and today we'll be talking about what are LiDAR ghosts and what is LiDAR blooming, an advanced look into some limitations of LiDAR. So first, we'll review how do LiDARs work. So LiDARs, or light detection and ranging sensors, are a common robot sensor used to understand the environment, how far away and where things are that uses the time light travels and reflects off an object to determine the distance to that object. And using a lot of these light rays, you can get a good idea of all of the objects in your environment. These LiDAR sensors send out multiple rays of light that could range from visible ultraviolet to near infrared to construct a point cloud representation of the environment. Lasers are usually emitted from a spinning source to cover up to 360 degrees, as is visualized in this GIF. Each point only corresponds to a ray of light that was emitted and reflected back to the sensor, whose distance could be calculated. So each point in this point cloud reflects one kind of ray of light. Now in this example of a visualization of a LiDAR point cloud, we can clearly see this represents an indoor environment, where we have shelves in the background, and a chair in the foreground. So now that we know how LiDARs work at a high level by shooting rays of light and then observing the returns to construct these point clouds, we can see where limitations uh, take effect. So first let's consider how is light reflected off of a surface? So normally, uh, from the like, perspective of a camera, light comes in and then the, the lens will absorb the light and convert it to a digital format. Now with LiDARs, where light is actually emitted, uh, there still needs to be a lens and an imaging device so that the returned light can still be captured. Now the issue here is that along with the captured returned light that was sent out, you can also capture noise based on how the light and the angle of the light actually hits the lens of the capturing sensor. And as an example in this image here, we have like a single light source that is like a direct illumination source and as a result of how the light travels through the lens you may have these things known as ghosts these other sources of perceived light that are hitting the lens as a result of the way the reflecting surfaces of the lens work so this is actually one of the limitations of the lidar is the imaging system and the lens in the case of direct illumination and when we consider direct illumination, this doesn't just have to be a light, this could also actually be a highly reflective surface that is reflecting the light that we actually emitted back to us. So now what are LiDAR ghosts uh, in real life? Notice here the stop sign shaped ghosts highlighted in the red boxes. These are what we call LiDAR ghosts because they're caused by the reflections of the stop sign reflecting the LiDAR rays we've actually sent from our sensor, creating these stop sign looking ghosts or, or perceived returned rays that don't actually exist and are coming from the highly reflective stop sign. These are what we consider LiDAR ghosts because they don't reflect an object in the real world, but the LiDAR sensor detects them and considers them rays of light with returns for which the distance is calculated, but for which there is actually no object at that distance. Now, without LiDAR ghosts, considering that same scene, you can still see the stop sign on the left, but we no longer have these stop sign shaped objects moving across the street. Now, in addition to LiDAR ghosts, we also have a concept known as LiDAR blooming. Now, blooming refers to the appearance of dilated point cloud data where the size of objects increase incorrectly. They appear to bloom. And you can see this in the image here uh, inside of the red box, where around these distinctly red shaped uh, signs, we actually have a lot of blue points, which are the effect of blooming and which can actually change the way we perceive objects that are returned by our LiDAR. Now, without the effect of looming, similarly 
sh shaped signs will be perfect in their in their red uh, representation here without these blue dots that could potentially change a shape from a rectangle to more of a circle. Now, why are LiDAR ghosts and blooming a problem? The problem would be that robot systems like autonomous driving cars rely on these sensors to understand the world around them. So if we have something like blooming or a ghost, then the sensor can feed basically data that doesn't actually reflect the real world, but reflects a problem with the sensor. And this can result in either detecting that an object is in front of the car when it actually isn't, like this, the LiDAR ghosts and the stop sign, or misclassifying. So thinking you see a shape that resembles a car when in fact it's the result of blooming that has changed an existing shape. So the issue really comes down to accurate classifications and understanding of the environment. So I hope from this you've understood now what LiDAR ghosts and blooming actually refers to. If you have any more questions about LiDAR or any other robotic sensor, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And as always, check out our website teachkidsrobotics.com for other useful robotic tips and tutorials. And I'll leave a description to that as well below. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.